The Hopi, a Native American tribe living primarily in northeastern Arizona, are known for carving kachinas, wooden ritualistic dolls representing deities, elements in nature, or the spirits of ancestors. They're traditionally presented in a dance ceremony to the girls of the community. Hopi kachina dolls are cherished family keepsakes designed to teach Hopi children about the deities and spirits central to their Aboriginal traditions. Besides ceremonial purposes, many Hopi carvers produce kachina dolls for sale to native art enthusiasts. The carver uses knives of different sizes, sharpening the steel blades after every 10 or 15 minutes to prevent dulling. Kachina dolls are traditionally made of cotton wood, not from the tree's branch, but from its root. The carver begins by shaving off the thin outer bark. With a straight cut from one side to the other, he shapes a bit of the single feather which will adorn the top of this doll's head. He makes a series of vertical cuts to form the face and hairline. He continues carving the head form, then with a wood-burning tool burns in the square outline of the face. He shaves away wood above and below to make the face protrude. He forms the face in more detail, then picks up the wood-burning tool again, this time to delineate the neckline and the doll's robe. to carving. Now, with upward strokes, he shaves off wood to shape the neckline. He takes a larger knife and removes bigger pieces of wood to finish forming the head feather. Now he sands the wood with progressively finer sandpapers to remove all the cut marks left by his knives and to refine the doll's shape. With the doll perfectly formed now, it's time for the details and decorations. First, he sketches it all out in pencil, then runs the wood-burning tool along the lines. He decorates the body, then moves on to the doll's hair and facial features. It's these details which bring the doll alive. What was a simple and ordinary cottonwood tree root has gone through carving, sanding and burning to become an almost finished kachina doll. He now coats the entire surface with clear varnish. This seals the wood to prevent it from absorbing the paint he applies next. About 40 minutes later, the varnish is dry and the painting can begin. Traditionally, Hopi carvers made paint from natural pigments such as sand, plants, and berries. Today's carvers buy ready-made oils or acrylics. This carver dilutes acrylic paint with water to make it transparent. This allows the natural beauty of the wood grain to show through the color. After painting, he applies a coat of clear varnish to seal and protect the surface. Some carvers have moved in a new artistic direction, bronze. They use their wooden kachina doll to produce a latex mold. Then, with this mold, cast a wax replica. They dip the replica in a substance that hardens into a heat-resistant shell. Then they put the shell in a furnace to melt away the wax. This leaves a cavity in the shape of the doll. They pour molten bronze into the cavity. And, when the bronze cools and solidifies, they break the shell to extract a bronze version of their kachina doll. Instead of paints, they apply chemicals which color the metal. A modern twist on an age-old Hopi art.